This is my province. According to Trail Forks, it's got over 18,000 trails. That's 5,000 more than the next closest region. Of those trails, I've ridden quite a few. And that's probably as it should be. It's in my name. But over the last 10 or so years of travel and riding, there has been one glaring omission. One that's been recommended to me numerous times. And that's Vailmount Bike Park. Now, it's not like I've been trying to avoid coming here. In fact, I've been wanting to visit for a long time now. It's just that it's pretty far off the beaten path. But we're here now, and I'm pretty excited about it. And for good reason. Vilmount is a lot like other bike parks. It's got a big trail network. It's got jumps, drops, roller coasters, and this sort of reverse toilet bowl. It's got a full-time trail crew. Thanks for the work, guys. But unlike other bike parks, Vailmount is free to ride. Just shuttle or pedal yourself to the top of the mountain and you're good to go. Or for 10 bucks a lap, you can take the shuttle service, which we opted for. It takes a bit of time to get acclimatized to a new riding area. The dirt is unique, building styles are different, and you've got to learn to navigate a new trail network. So what's this coming from? And that unknown is exciting. So our first laps were tentative. With trails jam-packed with features, it takes a bit of time to sort things out. My wife Yuka, who self-describes as a wild boar, took it all in stride. Oh my god! Oh, oh that was bad! Oh my god! Oh, that's big! Definitely need a few more laps. Oh my god, everything is gap. <sighs> a few laps later, her memory was sharp as ever. Oh, yeah, that one. Always forget. Okay, it's a second time, but. The following lap. Hmm. Better this time. Okay, I didn't remember that, but I cleared it. Oh, this one. Oh. Okay, better. Ah. Nice try, you can fair. Nice try. Oh. oh my god, that's bad too. Oh my god. Definitely need a few laps on that. But with each lap of the park, we began to learn that everything was built properly and that if we hit everything with speed, things would work out. Basically, we learned to trust the trails and the trail builders. Case tabletops would be cleared a lap or two later. Gaps that seemed questionable at first glance. Oh, this one. We're now getting sent. I think I got it that time. And it's this process that's so enjoyable. Oh, okay. I gotta get that one to get that one. Okay. Just the day before, I didn't know these features existed. Now I'm here, learning, assessing, experiencing, enjoying. I'm having a good time. You, that is so fun. At a bike park, I've got this desire to maximize my day. Whether it's checking off all the features that I can, or just riding all the trails that interest me. I'm greedy and I want to experience everything. 
so my goal is always to ride the mountain in the most efficient way possible. That blue line goes into that black line. If we pedal up there, then we can get to that blue over there. We did that two laps ago, but if we duck out here, then we can get there, and so on. It can be a bit tedious, especially with a big group, but we're all here to ride something new and interesting. Interesting like a uh, choose your own adventure trail through the forest. <laughs> There's so many lines in here. Or maybe some awkward jank over a rock. Oh, 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 oh. Or some steep rowdy bits. <laughs> or a whale tail. A oh, whale tail. I'm actually a little nervous to go too fast on it. Ah, oh, I'm nervous. Oh, it's right there, honey pie. Yeah, you just don't want to overshot. Yeah, a lot of people are undershooting though. I thought I was... Overshot? Not going to make it, but I made it. Yeah, you made it. I think I went faster that time and I cased a little. You want to try? Yeah. And the drop off there is okay? Oh, that's the easiest part. Okay, I think so, yeah. Okay. Okay, ready? Yes. What was that? Cased it. Jeez, you made a big sound. Oh yeah, I cased it bad. <laughs> you think you have to kind of pop it, honey? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. You okay? Yeah. Keep going? Yes. We were having a great day in the mountain. Lap after lap, we were enjoying ourselves, having fun. And lap after lap, I would stop at this one step down. Gap jump? Gap jump. I kind of want to do this, but maybe another lap. I'd like to follow someone. Yeah, it would be nice. Yeah. Should we keep going? Yeah. But it's funny. When the shuttle calls it a day, it removes the desire to catch the next one. With the carrot teasing us down the mountain removed, we could slow down. I feel like I should do this one. Yeah, it's not that far. Be fun. <laughs> Coming. Huh? I can do it. Huh? I'm gonna do it. Okay. Okay. Yes. 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 Nice case. Case. Yeah, but uh, you could have gone faster, right? Yeah, I, I brake took a little. Yeah. Whew. Nice. Glad I did it. Yeah. Let me clean it up. Yes, you can do it. <laughs> I was a little... Nervous? Nervous, yeah. Yeah, but like, uh, you know, yeah. The case isn't that bad. <laughs> Sweet. Oh yeah, you're gonna do it. That's so fun. It felt great to check that one off on my own. But the reality is that there's hundreds of features on the mountain. So the next day, I set out to check some more off. <sighs> Case. Oh. Yeah. Oh, sick. I'll 
admit, on our first ride at Valmont, I thought the trails were a little odd, maybe even a bit awkward. I thought to myself, I wouldn't have built it that way. But when you travel the world, you expose yourself to different environments, cultures, and philosophies. It broadens your perspective and you become more empathetic. The same applies when traveling with your mountain bike. The jumps might be a little different than you're used to. Oh my god! Everything is gap! There might be a feature or two that surprises you. The rock and dirt react in ways you're not used to. A little off camera down here too. But just because it's not like home doesn't mean it's bad or wrong. It's an opportunity to learn something, to challenge yourself, and maybe even become a better rider. Our second day with the shuttle was perfect. We started out as out-of-towners, carefully making our way through foreign lands. Oh God. Understanding its nuances. With time, we began to trust our new environment and ourselves. The confidence grew, and by the end of the day, we were having the time of our lives. <laughs> this is so fun. <laughs> so Vailmount, thank you for adding to the culture of mountain biking, for cutting all those trails, for not charging for the privilege, for building something greater than the sum of its parts. I, for one, can't wait to return.